My name's Sarah and I've been on the road for four years now. I've traveled to many different countries and all throughout the United States, but perhaps my biggest adventure yet is meeting and falling in love with my girlfriend, Tori. This is the story of how I met the love of my life on the road. We are currently in Mexico right now. We've been here for one week and we're currently staying at this Palapa. It's so beautiful and it's right by the ocean. And it was 200 pesos, which is about 11 US dollars. And today's our first sunny day. We have been wanting the sun. That's why we're here in the winter. But up north, it was still pretty cold and today it's actually very warm outside. And the water is like crystal clear blue and it's just so pretty here. But to get here, we had to do a lot of driving the last few days. Two days ago, we did about seven hours of driving, and then the day after that, we did two or three. And it's still a little nerve wracking to go through the military checkpoints, to be honest. We are 30 minutes into our drive, and we're crossing the military crossing. We might not even be searched. I don't think we're gonna be searched at this one. No, I think we just go. Hello. Oh, yeah. So far, the military checkpoints have been really smooth and easy, and everyone's been really friendly. They basically always search the van in some way, but sometimes they do it a little more than others. We just got a text from Trent, and he said that they're digging deep in the van. We're like two vans behind him, so... They just searched the front part, and honestly, they didn't search that much. Maybe it's because we were a few cars behind, and they were getting sick of searching all the vans. And he something. was like, you guys are friends, right? Or said... Those your amigos? Oh, he said that. He searched through this bag and then oh, he, he asked what bag. was in here. He opened this up. And then he said, you play guitar? <laughs> oh, he said that? He spoke English? No, he was saying that in Spanish, oh, but wow. I understood him. They're always really nice when they search the van and then they ask a few questions and they send us on our way. While I have a day to relax today, I thought I would share the story of how I met the love of my life on the road. Before I dive into that though, I am actually going to go into the ocean and meet her out there. Even though it's hot outside, the water is actually still very cold, but that was a really refreshing dip, and now Tori's making us some lunch. We're making quinoa, which, I don't even need to get into that, <laughs> with veggies and vegan sausage. This bell pepper is like wrinkly. They have this brand, Deliciosas, and they're coincidentally vegan. This is my least favorite flavor. I really like the chocolate chip ones. So I bought my van about four years ago and I renovated it with the help of my dad. I was terrified to hit the road though. It was new and unfamiliar and at the time there weren't a lot of people doing it. Like I didn't really see people online that I could empathize with or I felt like I would be friends with. So I kind of had this idea that it would be a solo trip. It was going to be very much a solo journey. I never anticipated meeting my life partner on the road, let alone friends and a community. And as soon as I hit the road, I actually signed up for a 10 day meditation retreat where I meditated for 10 hours every day. During the retreat, I didn't have a journal, social media, or really any distractions. And it was a really life-changing experience, but my life is very different now. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Girls trip. <laughs> The van is a bit of a wreck right now. We filmed a sponsorship for Tori during sunset, and then we just hung out with all of our friends and drank some of these vodka drinks, vodka sodas. And now we're getting really hungry, so we're gonna have a late dinner. We're gonna go to Maddie's van and just collab on some tacos.
The next morning, we woke up at 7 a.m. and watched the sunrise from our windows. My girlfriend Tori made us coffee since she is the coffee master in the household, and we sat outside and played guitar together in harmony with the gentle noise of the waves beside us. I've also been really enjoying starting my morning with movement. Whether that's a yoga flow, handstand practice, pull-ups, or a run, it feels good to take care of my body. I think for a while, I neglected this sort of ritualistic movement. I honestly made a lot of excuses, telling myself that it was hard to build a routine while I was traveling so much and at a different spot every night. And that may be partially true. I do find it hard to build routines while living this way, but I also think you can find excuses for just about anything you want to. So today I just did the dang thing. I did a yoga flow and then spent some time practicing inversions. I usually try to practice headstands, my forearm stands, and also handstands. Although there is some overlap with the general concept of each, I find that it is a unique muscle you're exercising with each forearm form of inversion. And after I practiced that for about 15 minutes, we had papaya. Whoa. I've been really enjoying papaya recently with lime and tahini on top, and we ate it together while watching the water. And eventually, we decided to get out on the water. We rented a kayak for 20 US dollars and paddled out until before we knew it, we were surrounded by an entire pod of dollars. <laughs> the most beautiful morning with the dolphins and now we're back here and we set up this nice little kitchen in this palapa so I'm gonna make us some smoothies but to resume my story about a year into traveling in my van I started dating this girl she also lived in her van but long story short that was a pretty toxic relationship for me and actually Tori and I are listening to this audiobook right now about trauma and there was this study that they talked about in the audiobook where they had two groups of rats and one of the groups of rats had a really noisy household and a lot of chaos and it wasn't a very healthy house Household. and the second group of rats had like a really peaceful household but whenever there was a foreign noise both groups of rats went back home and I feel like that can be indicative of toxic relationships sometimes like if you stay too long and it becomes home it can be hard to leave and you just always want to go back to it so I'm really grateful that that ended when it did even though it was pretty hard for me and before I tell the rest of the story I'm going to make these smoothies for everyone so I'm putting bananas dates peanut butter almond butter and an ice cube that way I live a lifetime oh, every wow. moment when I'm holding you close Lay your head down on my shoulder Honey, I won't ever let go Because you pulled me like a magnet Now I'm right where I belong I'm gonna love you the same for the rest of my days and on How and is on the guy? Cause as long as we keep dancing, we'll stay young at heart. Tori is in the van making us breakfast. We're doing breakfast tacos. And I am going to make another beverage out here. I'm gonna make juice. We had smoothies, now we're having juice. I just have a lot of fruits and veggies I need to use, honestly. So in this juice, I'm going to do three bell peppers, a pineapple, I have two mangoes, lemon, and I'm gonna see if I can borrow Val's ginger. Can I borrow ginger for the juice? Do you have any more? Ginger. Ooh, this is a very sharp knife and I appreciate that. I just sharpened it. Wow, really? Yeah. It's so good, look at that. Yeah. yeah. I am the taco queen right now. <laughs> I made potatoes e onions. <laughs> I love how you, all you know is e. Well, Wait, cebolla. 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 I wasn't trying to speak Spanish. Okay. Being alone on the road again after my 
my ex and I broke up was terrifying. I traveled for a few months, but eventually decided to go back to visit my family in Austin, Texas. It was there that I met my now girlfriend, Tori. We took it slow at first since we both had gotten out of relationships in the last year, but there was an undeniable connection. The first year of our relationship, we were long distance. We traveled together in the van and abroad and had these magical trips where we felt so united and on top of the world. And then she would leave and we'd be on different sides of the country for what felt like months. It is 6.50 and we are going to go kayak on the water as our last kayak in the spa before we head into town. The water looks amazing. <laughs> that's a big, that's like the biggest sweet potato I've ever seen. town we stopped in to get errands done and it was probably the worst restaurant experience I've ever had the place made no sense there was only one guy and literally we asked him if we could have tacos and the tacos had oh burritos and they were tacos but they had it tasted like a burger and a taco like it literally had mustard How do you feel? it's like eating a hamburger <laughs> and it was really funny we like ordered them and he was like hold on I have to go get tortillas and he ran off down the street like we literally saw him running so we ordered these tacos and then our friend Trent ordered a hot dog just out of curiosity and that ended up being like a falafel in a hot dog it was very weird and we ordered smoothies but they came in a bowl and there were like there was like oatmeal in it I don't know it was very interesting and everything was very expensive I don't recommend that place honestly because not only was the food not that good plus very expensive but the service the guy there was <laughs> very interesting he ended up like asking for a picture and just trying to like get us to play chess and then hitting on our friend rachel so that kind of threw us off like bright and early in the morning but today we are at the shower spot and we're just going to quickly go in and take some showers and then go on our way and finally get rooted and just be able to relax somewhere because doing errands is always pretty exhausting we woke up bright and early at 6 30 a.m today and we are going to go into the ocean i feel like it's going to be pretty cold because it's a little chilly outside but the water here is crystal clear blue it's probably the most beautiful water that we've seen so far in Mexico and this is our first sunrise ocean dip here Eventually, Tori and I decided it was time for her to move into my van with me full time. This was a big decision since we both value our independence a lot and at first it came with its challenges. We were fighting about little things and getting mad at each other more often than usual, but eventually we learned some things that help our relationship, like taking an hour of alone time every day and learning how to communicate during and after a fight. I'd be lying though if I said that Tori and I still don't fight despite taking alone time and learning how to communicate with each other better but throughout it all we have chose each other and at the end of the day love is lust and attraction and chemistry and partnership and trust and it's also a choice Tori and I have shown each other that we choose each other and I'd be a fool not to she makes the hard times better and good days incredible and as we get older and smile lines nestle themselves in our cheeks I'll know that they are in a large part because of her because she makes me smile and laugh more than anyone else in the world 
I love you, Tori.